Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so this is a get ready with me video and this is the look that I wore to a um, recent engagement dinner that I went to. I wanted to try something a little bit smoky and something that actually does match my outfit which is something I never normally do. Um, so I went for this look and I actually really do like it. Uh, but if you want to see how I got it then stay tuned. So I'm starting out with my moisturizer and I'm using the Ombre Elise Lake Creme Concentrate. I'm applying this quite generously all over my face. And then next I'm going to go in with my Carmex Lip Balm and this is in the flavor Cherry. And again I'm being quite generous with this. And then as the base for my eyeshadows I'm using the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo. And this is in the shade Everlasting Navy. I'm applying this with my finger because it's the easiest way to blend out these cream tattoos, these cream eyeshadows. I do want this colour to be really opaque so I'm going in with a couple of layers but I do wait for each layer to dry before I go in with the next. And these are very very long lasting, it does help prevent your eyeshadow from creasing and it keeps your eyeshadow on all day. And then going in with my sleek Ultra Matte V2 palette. The first colour I'm going to use is that creamy peach colour um, into my crease and that's going to be my transition colour or the first transition colour that I use and this will also help blur the edge of that blue, the colour tattoo that we put on earlier. I'm using this on a round fluffy brush, um, I think this brush is from the Academy of Freelance Makeup but I'm not 100% sure. Um, next I'm going to go in with this, the chocolate brown eyeshadow all from the same palette and applying that in the crease and slightly above and I'm going from outer corner all the way up to the inner corner. I want this look to be quite smoky but um, I want the crease to be warm so that's why I've gone for this chocolate brown colour. The next colour I'm going to use is that purple brown shade and that's just to add a hint of purple to the look. I'm still keeping it warm toned because I do want the crease to be warm. And here I'm using the purple, purple brown now. Um, and I'm keeping this just in the crease and very slightly above. Uh, but I do want the brown to peek out from underneath. And I'm using the same brush again. This brush is quite round and fluffy, so it does help to blend out the colours quite easily. And then going in with a with the navy blue in the palette and on a pencil brush. I'm just deepening up the outer corners of the eye. Um, I'm going to make sure that there's nothing in the crease. I'm going to go back in with the blending brush just to blend out any blue that might have gone into the crease. But I'm not too worried about blending on the actual eyelid itself. Because the next colour that goes on, it's going to blend it for me. Um, and you'll see that. So what I'm going in with here is the Barium Dazzle Dust in the shade... Petrol Blue, or it's number 98, and um, I'm just using that on a flat brush, a flat top brush, and I'm just packing that onto the eyelid. This is a duochrome shade, some light um, reflect purple in it, and blue, dark blue, and then there's also a slight hint of a teal or a bright blue in it, depending on the light. And I'm packing this all over the lid, and I'm making this colour quite opaque as well. And it's great to apply this on a base like the Colour Tattoo or you could use a Paint Bot by MAC um, or any long lasting cream shadow because it sticks really well on them. And then on top of this uh, blue I'm going in with a Glitter Dust again by Barry M and this is in black gold or number 22. And it's basically a black pigment with flecks of gold glitter in it and I'm just applying this with my finger because it helps the glitter stay on better. I didn't use any glitter glue or anything like that, it stayed quite well without it. And then just using a dry muslin cloth, I'm just wiping off any fallout from the eyeshadows. Here I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Corrector and I'm applying it straight from the tube itself with the brush that, in, that comes with that tube. And I'm applying this just under my eyes where my dark circles are. I'm blending that out with a Zoeva brush. I don't remember what number this is. It's like the 217. 
Um, and I'm just, it's a synthetic brush though. And then over that I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is the shade NW30. And I'm using my Beauty Blender Dry um, to apply this. I'm going quite low down, so I'm going all the way um, down to my the end of my nose and bringing it up in a triangle. And all this will do is highlight the under part of my eye, but also because the concealer is very warm toned um, compared to the rest of my skin, which is very cool toned or very yellow toned, there is definitely a difference when you can when you see me in person. So um, with this, when I bring it quite low down, it blends in a little bit better, but I will go over this with a different concealer just to neutralize that warm undertone. And the thing about using a beauty blender, I'm using that pointed end just to shape up the eyeshadow as well. Now I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and I'm in the shade NC42. I've I've um, sheared out the foundation a little bit with the Ombre Elite moisturizer that I used at the start. Uh, this just gives me a more dewy finish to the uh, to the foundation, and it does sheer it out a little bit as well. And I'm just going to buff that out using the Real Techniques buffing brush. I do take my time when I do this. Um, it, when I buff it in and I take my time to buff it in, it gives me a really natural look. You can't really tell that I'm wearing foundation. Then here I've gone in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and I've taken whatever is left on the back of my hands or whatever foundation I've got left over and I'm just blending out the foundation that I've put on. The great thing about the sponge is it absorbs anything that's extra on the skin. Then here I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Nude and I'm applying this where I applied the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. Now this is more yellow in undertone, so it does brighten up the area, but also it will neutralize a bit of that, uh, the warm tone from the MAC concealer. And then using the same Real Techniques sponge just to blend this out. And I use this over the Beauty Blender because it has a bit of my foundation on it, and I find that with that it just makes everything a lot easier to blend. And I will pat in, I will blend it by patting over the area and not spreading it out and not, you know, spreading the sponge all over the place. And then applying that same concealer down my nose just to highlight the bridge of my nose. And although you won't see this on camera, whatever's left on the sponge, I go over my cupid's bow and my chin. Then here, taking that same pencil brush that I applied the blue eyeshadow with, I haven't taken any extra product, but I'm just refilling out in that corner and then blending out with that same blending brush, but again, without taking any extra product, because a concealer can take away a little bit of the eyeshadow. And then going in with a mixture of the black eyeshadow and the brown, I am filling in my eyebrows. I've already done one off camera, and I'm just filling in the second one. I'm using a very small flat um, shader brush. It's quite thin as well and gives me a really precise application. And then using the same brush and the same two colors, the black and the brown, I'm lining my lower lash line. I'm not taking it all the way into the inner corner because I find that that makes my eyes really small and it closes my eyes up. So I do leave that very inner corner bare but I will highlight that even further, the inner corner. So this is what I'm going to do next, using the MAC Loose Iridescent Powder in Golden Bronze. I'm highlighting my inner corner and my lower lash line as well. This is a fantastic product. It doesn't look glittery, it doesn't look shimmery, it just gives you a really nice um, highlight without being too much. And because it's got a slight orange undertone, it complements that blue eyeshadow really, really well. So I've applied that on my lower lash line and then I'm going to go in with that brush that I use the black and brown with and just go over the area just to blend it all together. And then using that same golden bronze um, loose powder, I'm, I'm highlighting my brow bone. Then for contour, I'm using my Yabby Liquid Foundation in Hot Fudge. 
and using a Real Techniques pointed foundation brush just to apply this on the hollows of my cheeks, so that's under my cheekbones, across my temples and down my jawline as well. Now this is quite a warm shade, so it will look like I, I've used a bronzer which is completely fine. It's not really a contour shade. When you contour your jawline, you need to be sure to take it behind your ear as well because it, it can look quite odd if you start halfway, especially from a side profile. So I'm just doing the same thing on the other side, taking that dark foundation and just contouring my face and then going in with that same buffing brush that I use for my foundation. I'm just blending in the darker foundation with the rest so there's no harsh lines. And then for my bronzer, and I'm going to apply this over the areas that I applied the Yabby foundation, I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin Powder, um, or bronzer, in the shade Sunny. And I'm applying it using a MAC 168 brush. And then back in with the Golden Bronze Loose Powder by MAC, and on a slightly bigger, fluffier brush, and this is the Real Techniques Multitask Brush, I'm applying the golden bronze shade on my cheeks. I'm using the halo technique to apply my highlighter here. I don't want a stark line on my cheekbone the way I would normally do it. I'm applying this just in an all over area just to give me an overall glow. And then using the Real Technique setting brush, I applied the same golden bronze on my on the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, chin and above my brows. Then here I've taken the black eyeshadow from the palette and using the same small flat top brush, the flat shader brush, I'm lining my upper lash line. I didn't want to go in with a gel liner or a liquid liner because I thought that would be too harsh for this look because I wanted it to be quite smoky. So that's why I'm using a, an eyeshadow. And then here I'm applying the same black eyeshadow on my lower waterline. Then next I'm going to go and change my clothes and come back and finish off my makeup. So I'm starting with my mascara and I'm gonna use a combination today. First one I'm using is the Mali Volumizing Mascara in Black. I love this mascara and although it does give me volume and some length, in combination with the Bobbi Brown Everything Mascara, my eyelashes look amazing. And I don't even have very long lashes or thick lashes. So I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Mascara here. It just adds more volume and more length to my lashes when worn in combination with the Mali Mascara. And I'm applying a good like four or five coats of each mascara, so I've applied quite a lot of mascara. Then here I'm using the MAC Lip Erase in the shade Dim. And this is basically a concealer for the lips. It is a pro product, so you would have to get it either online from a pro store, but you don't need to be a pro to get it. And then I'm going in with the NYX Lip Liner in Mauve and lining up my lips and slightly filling them in. This lip liner is said to be a dupe for World Lip Liner by MAC. I haven't got World, I've not been able to get it, it's always sold out when I go and get it. Um, but apparently this is quite a close match. And then I'm going in with Mally's Liquid Lip Color in Punch. And this is like a pinkish peach color. It's not very pigmented, it's just what I wanted um, for this look. And this is the final look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next week. Bye.